Probably you loved it? And Zoe. You loved yeah, it? Yeah, it was good. We literally we were just going on the street to go, go to one place. We're going to New York by ourselves. I know, and at the mall. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Let's go on a little adventure. Can we see you? Say hi. Hey guys, I'm doing the best job in the world. <laughs> He's a plumber for a day. Funny. How's it going? Terrible. He's not in a good mood. <laughs> Anyways. That's what he's working on. The girl's toilet broke last week, and I did tell you guys that, so he's trying to fix that. Guys, so, sorry, I have not picked up the camera since I spoke to you guys earlier, but a lot has happened. We went on the street. I had to go to pick up some stuff at the consignment shop because I brought some things there for Zoe that she's outgrown in such a short time. And then we went by the mall. For some reason, I was craving New York fries. <laughs> Hmm, hmm, can you imagine if it's the month? <laughs> you guys, I'm still TTCing. I know you guys are probably wondering, especially those of you on this channel, because yeah, um, I don't post a lot of that pregnancy stuff on here, but we're still TTCing and I'm in that two week wait. I am currently waiting, TMI for those of you who want to know though. Um, yeah, could it be? Could I be expecting? I was literally craving New York fries though. I was. Hamik? Huh, I was, I was on the street. We were on the street and I was like, I'm gonna go home. And then I asked Mick for what? For New York fries. I was yeah. like, I was like, like ah, I want some New York fries. I was like, I'd drive by the mall and go get it's some New York fries. Like, that oh, never oh, happened. Oh, oh, oh. It's like, <laughs> what? We literally <laughs> were just going on the street to go, go to one place. We're going to New York fries. <laughs> I know, and at the mall. Yeah. Long story short, we did that and then we ended up going to see Maleficent. Now, we went and saw it. It was a good movie, guys. If you guys, um, I don't know if your kids ever watched the first one, definitely go and check it out. It was a good movie. However, Someone went and watched it twice because they went and watched it this week with their friends. Oh yeah, I'm a big Maleficent fan. Maleficent, Mistress of you saw it two times in like two days. Yeah, it was just as good as the first, maybe even a little bit better because I like the storyline a lot. Or maybe because she liked to watch it with her family too. Yeah, that too. But I watched the first <laughs> one with you guys. It's not like I went to see it alone. Yeah. It wasn't a screen time Anyways. Though. <laughs> yeah. So anyways, we're back now. Zoe, Zoe survived the movies. Zoe. How did you do at the theater? Awesome. Did you watch the movie Maleficent? She wants some really? toys. Really? Like she's it? really? Like, she's shopping just... for Christmas toys. Yeah, she's like, I literally just spent my entire two hours in the theater. Give me some time to <laughs> chill. Zoe. Baby. Baby. She's shopping for babies. Aww. Are you shopping for babies? There might be a baby. In mommy's tummy. <laughs> Can you imagine? Oh, I mean, oh, it's on my phone. It's on my phone. That's so creepy. Your headphones oh. will do that. Really? Yeah, it will prompt it. It'll drain your battery. That's why it's good to plug out your headphones. Yeah, for some reason, I don't know what's going on. I was craving fries, so we'll see what happens. Keep your fingers crossed. You know. Um, oh, for all of you guys don't know too, I if things if if this is not my month, I also have a fertility appointment. I think I may have told you in another vlog already, though. Anyways, Mick, look at all these mixed kids too. Aww. Oh yeah, while we were out today, not just at the mall but at the movies, we were like we saw so many mixed kids. I've oh, been yeah, like yeah. a lot of mixed kids are being used to advertise things these days, which is interesting because for the longest time it was not. <laughs> big thing, yeah. Right? Well, it's so big to the point where you guys notice it all the time. Though. I know, yeah. yeah. Like mixed families just be used to advertise everything, because like then they represent black Both. and it, white. Yeah, yeah, they represent a lot of people, I guess. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of mixtures are or races are in between those two, right? It's yeah. literally both end of the spectrum. Mm -hmm. Someone is back. Hey. So we all just came from the movies, but because we did run, we drove to two separate cars. Um, we met up and went to the the theater in separate cars. Anyways, um, I'm counting how many kisses I gave. How did you think? Of, what did you think of the movie Maleficent? Uh, Aaron thinks he's what's it called? What's that guy called? Eb or what's he called? His name? He passed away. That black guy. That, that black guy, that white guy, E.B. Yeah. 
That that movie critic. Aaron just thinks he's a movie critic. I think I'm a movie critic. You do. You give movies. I'm not a very good movie critic. Yeah, but you criticize every movie. He likes the ones that he likes, and then the ones that he doesn't, he tears them apart. And Maleficent, Maleficent was not, it wasn't your movie. You didn't like it like that. All the girls liked it. Myself and the girls, we loved it. And probably you loved it? And Zoe. You loved it? Yeah, it was good. Was it good or was it like lovingly good? It was really good. I enjoyed it. Does that even make any sense? Lovingly good? Yeah, I really enjoyed it. But I too, I, I understand where you're coming from with the main character. Yeah, Aurora just hmm? looked like she walked around the entire movie like she stone didn't, face. She was, it wasn't even stone face. It she wasn't looked stone, confused. Like, what am I doing on set? Where am I? Oh, <laughs> that's that's what they portrayed. I kind of went down these stairs. Yeah, that's what they portrayed. The, I'm not gonna lie. I do agree with that. The girl literally looked like she didn't have any other expressions. <laughs> she only had one expression. I was telling her, like, they could have just... It's not a book moment. They could have a cropped her face, her facial expression, on, like, a mannequin <laughs> throughout. Yeah. Because she didn't really move a lot, and she didn't really say a lot. No, she didn't. Until at the very end, actually, when she had a speech, which did not quite connect well with us, because it, it, it was, like, a totally different Aurora. I guess she felt empowered at the end. Maybe she did. That probably makes a sense. I, yeah, so anyways, that's it. I don't know what else we're going to do. I don't Does anyone notice anything different? We're going to see how creepy a mustache I grow. As the night went on, guys, I proceeded to do a little mini nighttime hair routine for Charlotte's hair. Um, mixed hair does take work if you guys aren't familiar with it. Um, just the detangling process and just ensuring that her hair stays you know detangled and easy to manage so you know that the girls are currently in swimming and that's another thing all on its own i have to keep their hair in protective styles so the swim cap can fit properly on their heads this swim cap issue is not exactly 100 percent because it's not com completely preventing their hair from getting in contact with chlorine so it's just something that I'm going to have to work on. But for the time being, um, you know, it's helping a ton. So what I do is keep their hair in protective styles throughout the week. And every now and again, I have to kind of go in and do a little touch up, like detangle their hair, spritz it, hydrate it, moisturize it, and get it back in a protective style. So then next time for swimming, it they're prepared to kind of just go in. And that's what I'm doing here with Charlotte's hair. Um, I'm using my favorite comb and detanglers, some of which you guys don't always approve of. Um, some of you are saying that you did not like the Tangle Tamer, and I still love it. It does a great job. It's not breaking off their hair. I could tell based on the hair that would come out in the comb. And not there's not much shedding that takes place. And as you can see, it is working. I am a big advocate for those for you to use whatever works for you as long as I mean you're taking your kids hair into consideration and this whole I don't know hair combing process it's like a trial and error type thing you got to learn and figure it out as you go along so this is what I do with her hair I'm biracial mixed hair black hair it, it's work and you it's like I said when you figure it out then you know where you're going with it <laughs> until then it's a struggle sometimes. Um, stay tuned for the products. I'm gonna mention the products that I'm using. Those of you guys who are wondering what I like to use in Charlotte's hair or what I use in her hair for today, I did go ahead and use this coconut whipped cream leave-in conditioner. I purchased this at Winners Home Sense here in Canada. It's so hard to find anywhere else. I, I just ran out. It's empty and I recently went on search for it and I cannot find it anywhere to save my life. So if any of you guys know where I can get it from, I'm probably going to have to order it from Amazon. It says it has extra, co extra virgin coconut oil in it and that's, yeah, this stuff works amazing. It detangles her hair instantly. So this is definitely worth checking out if you're in need of a good leaving conditioner because I feel like I can survive on this alone for her hair. Next thing that I use, I kind of alternate between and I did have to use hand in hand with this because this ran out, is this Cantu leaving conditioner. It does the trick, it's a little harder to work with and it doesn't do the same job. I would not I don't know it's Cantu products are great and it does work it's just not the same this just has it's just designed with a better slip and I can't seem to replicate the slip that I get from that with this even adding oil to it so I don't know but I'm using it for now because it's the next I guess I don't I don't know if it's the next best thing but it's the thing that I have at hand 
the next thing that I tend to use is this, and this is what you, it's a lot of body coconut oil and sh share oils. It's a, I guess it's supposed to be like a curling cream. It's more of a lotion and her hair loves this stuff too. It kind of works hand in hand with that, but it's coconut once again. And so her hair is definitely loving coconut based products. The new thing that I picked up is this, and these kind of brands are, I mean, obviously this, I think it's just like, you know, supporting like black businesses. I think this is like a, probably a business that was just brought into like the hair store because I've never seen it and the tags and everything don't look that professional, but perhaps I'm just judging. Um, this is called Nature's Secrets to Healthy, Beautiful Hair and Radiant Skin. Um, it has argan oil and olive oil moisturizer. I did try to use this with her, with her, with the leave-in conditioner to try to help create a slip. Obviously, I think this is the wrong kind of product. It did not create any real form of a slip. I think I need to stick with like the argan oils and coconut oils, but this, um, I don't know. So, but this, it smells really good. It just wasn't working out. I like the pump method too. And of course, y'all know that you cannot, this is, oh, my bad ignore what's on here this is just water i fill this with water i do usually have another spray bottle but i lost it somehow so you cannot function and operate and do kid these kids hair without water guys it's like the essential moisturizer without like anything extra and it's free so definitely try that add water to your to their hair it definitely helps to get it going and to just allow for it to easily detangle.